Now, another thing you're going to regularly want to add is text. So you've obviously, with your stylus, potentially got the option to be writing all over your whiteboard, but sometimes you just want to type. So if you click the plus, you do have a text option. So I can click on it and click anywhere on my screen and I could add some text. So I could make this a title. Now, one thing you can't currently do is change the font. So I can double click it and change the color and I can have it whatever color I want. And I can change the size by obviously expanding it and moving it around. But what you can't do is change the font. We're lucky that they've picked a sans style font that I think is suitable for students at any age at the moment. It's not perfect, but it's not horrendous either. Um, and I'm sure in the future it will be very easy to pick from various choices of font. But currently there is only this one option. So you can add text like that. The other thing you can add, which especially if you're going to collaborate on these, I use these sometimes for exit tickets and things, is sticky notes. So very easily you can click on the notes, you can choose a colour, and you click somewhere on your whiteboard and you get a sticky note that I can write all over. This is a sticky note. So I can write all over it, I can change the size, and I can move it around. So this is one of the ways, or this is probably the most common way I've used it with students. So if I'm collaborating on it, I'm asking the students a question, I ask them all to write a sticky note and put it somewhere on the board or put it in different locations if they hold different meanings like exit tickets. Now that works really, really well. You've also got the option of note grids. So note grids are when you want a little bit more structure and organization. So if I picked, for example, this normal color post-it note grid and clicked it here, what you get with a note grid, you see it zoomed out for me a little bit because the note grids are quite big. What you get with a note grid is you'll get by default a three by three structure, sorry, a two by three structure, but there's a button to add a note at the top and it adds notes and it keeps them all organized. So people can add notes. And if you've got say multiple questions, you could add notes and it will keep it in that area and it keeps them all together. So note grids are also potentially quite useful depending on what you're trying to achieve. So that's how easy it is to add sticky notes and text to your whiteboard.